So let's take a short tour of the Moodle 2 file picker. You can see that on the left hand side here are different ways of viewing or uploading files and on the right hand side we have some folders and above that we have a breadcrumb trail which doubles as a navigation bar. Now the file picker tends to open in contexts and you can see that currently we are looking at the folders of files that we previously uploaded to the demonstration Learn Gold course. So where can we get to by using this breadcrumb trail? If I click on system then I can see folders that relate to each of the categories that we have on our Moodle installation. But don't worry, I can't get to anybody else's files. Only the files for the course areas I have editing access to are available to me. I'm also able to return to the place where I was before by clicking on server files and it will open in my original context. As well as looking at icons, I can also view the contents of that folder as a list. So we've looked at server files, let's look at recent files. And this lists all the files that I have been working with recently. Moving down, we look at upload a file in a separate guide. And we also look at private files in a separate guide. And below that, there are two examples of some third-party repositories. Dropbox is a way of sharing files between different contexts. And if I click to log in, it opens a separate browser window and I'm able to log into my Dropbox account there if I have one. And we also have Flickr, which is an image hosting site and I can search by keyword and clicking on one of the results will allow me to add it to the context that I'm working in. Now below this is something called legacy course files. Now because Moodle 2 handles files so differently from previous versions of Moodle, if you've moved a course area across from, say, Moodle 1.9 to Moodle 2, uh, its files will appear in folders within legacy course files. Anything you upload subsequently to the migration over to Moodle 2 will appear up here in server files in a folder. So finally, if you find that you can't see a file that you think you should be able to see, the first thing to try is to click the refresh button and hopefully that will solve the problem.